When we attempt something in life, we have a choice put before us the instant we decide to attempt it, which is, do we do it all the way or do we not? What that means is that you can either do something with the utmost of your abilities, the fullest of your efforts, and all of the passion in you, or you cannot. And it does come down to that sort of a dichotomy in many cases. When you are standing up for a cause that you believe in, it is only truly a cause you believe in if you are willing to stand up for it no matter the cost, no matter how much it takes from you. If you truly have passion for something, standing up against an injustice, or promoting a cause for the general welfare, then you must, in order to make a difference, put everything that is you into that cause. And not everyone can do that. Not everyone is capable of that kind of total effort. And those kind of people, they're good as supporters to the cause. They're very good for donating money, time, setting things up. These people are not bad or useless. But the people who lead the causes are the ones who take full charge, who invest themselves in the cause and become it, in a sense. And this can be applied to lesser things, too. In fact, all of life, which is if you wish to attempt something that matters to you, Do it all the way. Don't half-ass it and be afraid to put your fullest effort in for failure or risk of loss. If you believe it's something you need to do, then it is something you need to do. (laughs) There's that trite old saying from Yoda, you know, the do or do not, there is no try. And while on the surface, it's kind of stupid, you know, you have to try to do something, right? The point is that you must either approach something with the intent of doing it or not doing it. Don't don't sit there and think, I'm going to try to do this. No, no. Do it. Make it happen. Do not set yourself up for failure from the start by simply believing that you cannot do something or that you probably won't be able to do something or that you'll try but you're not so sure. Failure is an ever-present chance that is uncaring as to your particular regards to it. Whether you are worried about the failure or not has no influence on the failure's chances of happening. It Well, in a way it does, because if you worry too much about the failure, you may ensure that it happens by simple worry. Now, the caveat here is I encourage not arrogance, but confidence and devotion. These concepts are different. Arrogance is the belief that you cannot fail, that you will succeed easily, or that sort of thing. What I'm talking about is the idea that you just do. You think, I will accomplish this goal. Not that I can't fail, but that I will succeed. And therein lies the fine, yet amazingly important difference between the two. One, I will not fail, or cannot fail, omits truth from your mind, which is that failure is a possibility for everyone. The other, which says, I will succeed, is the drive that pushes people past difficulties and challenging obstacles. Just something to think about.